Excuse me, and then we're in there. All right, could I just have a word with you a minute, please? All right, yeah, my name's Alan Pross from Worcester City Council Environmental Services. OK. Um, we've just witnessed you throw a cigarette butt straight out the window of the car. Yeah, did you realise that is an offence? Yes, I OK. Um, could, I just, could you just step out the car so I could just take some details off you, please? I can understand rubbish. Well, the fucking fag boss. That's, did you realise like, that is Worcester City's biggest problem, is chewing gum and cigarette butts. That's an £80 fine, yeah. Well, she can pay £80 fine. That's not up to me, is it? No piece of rubbish is too small to escape the attention of Alan Price. He's made the city of Worcester one of the country's most enthusiastic finers for rubbish and litter offences. Or just because you're disabled or because you're elderly or because you've got a newborn baby, I'm going to let you off. It's still littering. It doesn't matter whether it's a small piece or a large piece. A war has broken out in Britain. It's about rubbish. The battle is between the people who are putting out too much of it and the council, whose job it is to dispose of it all. Shoot them! Birch them! Public flogging in the street. That's what you want. That'll stop the lazy bastards. As landfill runs out, town halls up and down the country are getting tough about recycling, fly-tipping and litter. Strap on this one. They're tracking down the bin delinquents and making them pay. 